What's up guys, today's video is presented by EA Game Changers. Massive thanks to EA for inviting me to the World Cup Capture event. Hey, what's up guys, how you doing? It is Lasty here, welcome to my second like regular style pack opening within FIFA 18 Ultimate Team World Cup mode. Now, guys, if you do enjoy this video, maybe you wanna share it around with your friends, show everyone what World Cup mode looks like, I'd greatly appreciate that. Hit that thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, because I mean, I'm gonna show you some Something that looks pretty cool within FIFA 18 World Cup today and it is this right here there's no beating around the bush I'm not gonna wait make you wait until like the end of the vid Portuguese striker that's right Europe flag meaning we get ourselves 95 rated Cristiano Ronaldo in a pack how sick is that I mean he is the highest rated regular item on the game obviously we've got some icons that are going to outdo him in terms of rating uh, but this right here 95 striker I mean <laughs> Damn, it looks pretty good, right? 90 pace, 88 dribbling means that they've brought that down quite considerably. Uh, and the shooting, though, is pretty good at 92. 84 passing, 79 physical. He is going to be a monster on the game. We just know it, you know? We know how good this guy is going to feel on the game. Uh, even, like, regular versions of him on regular foot have always been pretty solid. So, was happy. Very, very happy to pack myself the 95 rated striker Ronaldo. Now, of course, that was happy happening quite a lot within the capture event itself you know people all around me packing around all the time uh, and as you guys know these videos are like post commentary i'm not doing live reactions to this stuff just because it was super loud within uh, within the room that i was recording you probably hear that in certain other people's videos like just how loud it was in the background and i didn't really want to bring that to you also knowing that this is not like my account to keep forever means that like the excitement level when you pack someone like ronaldo is is quickly it, you quickly remind yourself like oh when i go home i don't get to keep this which you know uh it, it's not a great feeling however it was still fun to be on this mode and opening loads of packs to my heart's content and i think toward like i think i nearly opened about a hundred thousand fifa points worth and at that point i was just missing the odd player uh like i'm pretty sure if this is anything like fifa 14's uh world cup mode that we are going to be able to uh, pack ourselves uh, a lot uh, of these players within the database in I mean, I think FIFA 14 like a couple of million coins could pretty much get you everyone uh, And I imagine it would be similar again now now There's always going to be that odd straggler that you still haven't quite got in your squad uh, And that yes could definitely be an issue for you uh, However, you can see that Busquets that I just packed here is a duplicate and I press Y on him, and I st or triangle, and I uh, stick him into duplicate storage. This is something that we've seen a couple of tweets about uh, over the past few days from uh, from Zaro, from Corey, you know, the, the EA guys that are really communicating with us via Twitter and stuff. Uh, and they've been doing some like frequently asked questions, little questionnaires and, and, and Q&As like, on Twitter uh, to give people that information that they seek, that they want to know about the World Cup mode. Um, and one of the things that, that Corey tweeted a while back, and the EA tweeted a while back as well, was that they were figuring out a way to deal with duplicates on the game mode. So within FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, we had no way of dealing with it, you know? Uh, what happened? Y y you did a pack on FIFA 14. You know, you'd been packing for a few hours. Pack yourself Cristiano Ronaldo, and you're buzzing. You're super happy about it. Um... And then you use your Ronaldo and it's all good. And then, uh, you know, you've got some extra coins. So you go back to pack again. And you pack yourself another Ronaldo. But he's a duplicate. And this game mode, is it's untradeable. The players are untradeable. What do you do? You had to discard it. And it wasn't a great feeling. I mean, yeah, there might have been the odd YouTube title, which was discarding Ronaldo, on, you know, which probably did quite well for some people. Uh, however... It was still not a great feeling that you have to you have to discard a Cristiano Ronaldo or a high-rated player, and there was nothing you could do with them. Now, the tweets that I've seen from Corey and from from all of the EA people is that duplicate storage is going to help us out. So we're going to be able to effectively have a hundred slots where if we get a duplicate, uh, we can we can stick it into duplicate storage. Now that's just going to sit there. Now you can stick like. Five. I mean, who's this player? Is this Luka Modric or is it Rakitic? Uh, I think, yeah, it's Luka Modric, right? We get 89 rated Luka Modric. Now, I guarantee you, this is probably a duplicate at this point. So, he would go on into 
into into the duplicate storage. Now, if I packed a Modric in the next pack as well, it's not limited so that I, c I could only put one of each player in. Like I could stick another Modric up there as well. But I have 100 slots, uh, which is what we've seen on Twitter from Corey and stuff. You know, it's, it's let us know that we've got 100 slots within the duplicate storage. Now, uh, what, what that means you can do, we've also been told that there are SBCs uh, within the game and, and that um, you can use the players that are in your active club to go ahead and put them into an SBC, knowing that, you know, you could stick a Modric into whatever SBC it was. I don't really know what they are right now. Uh, they could be anything, right? It could be like themed SBCs or whatever. Uh, but you could stick your Modric into that, knowing that, like, you could... I mean, I guess you could probably swap it with duplicate storage so that you can keep this, like the stats and the uh, player bio of the one that you've used the most. You know, you know how it is. Uh, however, like you could, you could submit a Modric for a challenge, go into duplicate storage, and then fish out a Modric, stick him back in your club. Now that is really, really useful. And like, I know it's still kind of devastating when you pack yourself that that duplicate Ronaldo, but just think about like regular foot and SBCs that we get on regular foot. Um, let's just take the TOTS ones, for example. Uh, the, the guaranteed TOTS SBCs that we have had, where we know that we need like an 84 rated squad with a team of the season player. You, you guys know that you could stick one of those entry level EFL TOTS players that are like 80 rated in the squad. But then you've got to like make the rest of the squad up with really high rated players to get up to an 84. However, if you've got a high rated player that you can stick in there, like you stick a 90 rated rest of the world TOTS into your, into your guaranteed TOTS uh, SBC, then you know that you haven't got to actually put 84s in for the rest of the team. You can get away with 83s and a couple of 82s and stuff. So a duplicate... Marcelo or a duplicate Cristiano Ronaldo or Modric or Icon or whatever whatever it is is going to be of more use to you than a duplicate 76 rated Jorgensen you know it's, it's so that's how it's going to work uh, and obviously you might want to not necessarily always keep every duplicate because like I said there's a hundred slots there uh, so you can't necessarily uh, it's gonna you know, don't fill it up or once you fill it up then then you could be a bit buggered but um you know if you were to just keep the the, the useful players the ones let's say 81 rated and above or whatever it is you know whatever you decide is your threshold you know it depends how many packs you open right you might be able to keep everything if you're road to glory style doing this and and you, you can't literally open loads of packs because you don't have enough coins to do so then every duplicate you could that you get could become useful and stick it into storage when you get a chance remove the players that you need by doing whatever challenge it is or you know how it works so uh so yeah that is how how the duplicate storage stuff has all come about uh i'm really excited about this it does mean that we get something useful within ultimate team as we pack ourselves a 90 rated eden hazard right there he looks like he's going to be someone that that is pretty good on the game right 90 rated but center forward um loads of people are going to be using him up front on the game which is great we then pack ourselves andres iniesta as you know uh the spaniard has moved from barcelona to i believe is it the j league has he gone to uh Vissel kobe oh god probably probably saying the wrong team and all sorts apologies for that how cool, by the way, does all the graphics look here within FIFA 18 World Cup mode pack openings? Uh, the animation itself, like I mentioned to you earlier, like I'm not really showing you the lower rated pools because I've opened so many packs that we get lots of good players. Uh, but like the, the boards obviously now being, I mentioned this yesterday, boards now being like 81 means that you're going to see that full length, uh, the full, you know, the decent animation uh, rather than just that no lights. Uh, and then no board drop downs and you just see the card you're going to see that on on 81 and above it seems which is great you know 89 rated cavani here i'm guessing he's definitely a duplicate because pretty sure he featured like two or three times even in yesterday's video uh but you can you, there's certain things that you can tell within these pack openings guys uh that i'll you know even just by watching it you'll be able to figure little things out within the animation that's going to help you know what sort of level of player you're going to get like someone in the comments below now let me know what's the differences between packing Andre Silva uh, and Cristiano Ronaldo uh, I just want to see how many of you out there uh, are like have a keen enough eye to see and if there are any differences between packing let's say an 82 rated and a 95 rated or whatever and I wonder if there is anything different out there that can uh, 
that can help you see whether or not the, the player you're getting is going to be a troll or, or is going to be super high rated. Yeah, leave your comments down below. If you guys would also do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button on the video, I mean, I would greatly appreciate it. All of these World Cup content, I, I greatly appreciate all of the support on this stuff. Uh, and obviously, a massive thanks to EA for inviting me out to the capture event. Uh, we end it here with an 87 rated, I believe, believe it is, Ter Stegen in goal. I mean, that's someone that you you're not going to mind having in net, right? You know, he looks like he's going to be safe hands, good distribution, looks like a pretty solid keeper on the game. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Stay tuned in for more FIFA 18 World Cup content, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.